हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल फॉर सच मोर प्रॉब्लम सॉल्यूशंस नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम 2021 इन दिस प्रॉब्लम वी आर गिवन दीस थ्री फोर्सेस एफ वन एफ टू एंड एफ थ्री एंड इट इज सेड दैट फाइंड द रिजल्टेंट ऑफ दीज थ्री फोर्सेज बाई डूइंग टू स्टेप्स राइट सो इन द फर्स्ट स्टेप वी हैव टू फाइंड द रिजल्टेंट एफ डेश ऑफ एफ वन एंड एफ टू एंड देन वी हैव टू फाइंड the resultant of that the resultant of these two that is f dash plus f3 right so we will do we will find the resultant of these three forces by doing by carrying out these two steps right so first uh, we we need to find the resultant of f1 and f2 and for this we will apply the parallelogram ra so let me draw the x and y axis let's say this is our positive x and y axis let's say this is my positive x and this is my positive y right so now first we need to add f1 plus f2 right so this is our f1 which is uh making 90 degrees with f2 right so and f2 is making a uh, 150 degree angle with f3 right so if we find this angle so then as we can see that this angle is 90 degree and this whole angle is 150 right so this angle this angle will be 150 minus 90 right so this angle will be 150 minus 90 which will be equal to 60 right so this means that the f2 force is making 60 degree with the positive x axis is right and now if i draw the negative x axis so what will be this angle right so as we can see that this 60 plus 90 plus this angle will be equal to 180 degree right so as we can see let's say that this angle is angle a let's say so then we we know that a plus 90 degrees plus 60 degrees this will be equal to 180 degrees and if we find this a angle so it will be equal to 180 minus 90 minus 60 so then this will give us 30 degrees angle right so this means that f1 is making 30 degree angle with the negative x axis is right so now we can draw these forces right so if i draw the f2 force which is making 30 degree with the x axis is let's say this is my f2 force which is making 60 degrees right so this is 60 and f1 force is making 30 degree angle with the negative axis right and the magnitude of f1 is 400 right so let's say that this angle is 30 degrees right and this is our f1 and this is f2 right so to complete uh, the parallelogram we need to draw this f1 on uh, we need to draw this f1 from the head of this f2 right so let me uh, draw another f1 vector with the same length right and we will place that f1 on the head of f2 right so we need to add these two vectors by head to tail rule right so again this is our f1 right and similarly to complete the parallelogram we need to draw again that f2 force on the head of the f1 force right so i will move this force right so this is f2 now the resultant of these two forces will be from the head of the from the tail of the first vector to the head of the last right so this is the resultant of this f1 plus f2 and here the name of the resultant is f dash right so this is f dash the green one is f dash right and this is f1 now we need to find the magnitude of this f dash right now if i extend this f2 force right so here as we can see that the tail of f1 and f2 forces are making 90 degrees with each other right so this means that this angle is 90 degrees and if this angle is 90 degrees so then this angle is also 90 degrees right so now uh, we can find we can say that this triangle is a right angle triangle so from this we can find f dash directly by using the pythagoras theorem so f dash will be equal to uh, f1 square f dash square will be equal to f1 square plus f2 square since this triangle is a right angle triangle right let me write that this is o s and t right so this o s and t triangle is a right angle triangle so we can find the magnitude of f dash so f dash will be equal to this thing right so we can find so f1 is 400 so we will write 400 square and f2 is 200 
square. So this will give us the resultant of F1 and F2. This will give us the magnitude. So the resultant of these two forces comes out to be 447.21 newtons. Right, and now we need to find the angle of this F dash with the positive axis, right? So we have to find this angle as well. So now uh, let's say that uh, this angle is the angle of F dash with F2 is let's say theta, right? So then we can say that this whole angle, let's say that this whole angle is theta dash, the green one angle, right? So let's say that this is theta dash. So now we can say that theta dash is equal to theta plus 60 degrees, right? And we can find this theta from this right angle triangle so we can apply tan theta right so tan theta will be equal to the this the opposite side this is f1 right so the perpendicular so f1 is 400 newton right so this is 400 so you will write 400 newton divided by this f2 magnitude right so f2 is 200 so this is 200 newton so we can find this theta which is 10 inverse and this will be 4 divided by 2. So this angle comes out to be 63.43 degrees and it is the angle of the F dash with the F2 vector, right? So now we can find this theta dash, the angle of the F dash with the positive x axis, right? So theta dash is equal to theta which is 63.43 plus 60 degrees. This theta dash equals to 123.43 degrees right so this is the angle of the f dash with the positive x axis is right so now uh, we need to find the resultant by adding this f dash with f3 right so let's say let me draw another x y and x axis right so let's say this is again my positive x and y axis and now our resultant is making this much angle right so let's say that this is our f dash vector this is f dash vector and this is making 123.43 degrees with the positive x axis right and now we need to add this f dash with f3 by head to tail rule right so now f3 is vertically acting vertically downward and the magnitude of this f3 is 300 right so let me draw that f3 force which is acting vertically downward so now uh, we by head to tail rule the resultant of these two forces will be from the tail of the first vector to the head of the last right so this will be our final resultant so this will be fr and this is our f dash whose magnitude is 447.21 and the magnitude of this f3 is 300 right this is f3 and this is that f dash force now let's say that this f dash is making alpha angle with the positive y axis is right so and we know that this angle is 90 degrees right so we can find this alpha angle so now from this we can say that this 123 degree angle we can say that 90 plus alpha equals to 123.43 degrees and from this we can find alpha so alpha will be 123.43 degrees minus 90 degrees so from this alpha comes out to be 33.43 degrees right so now as we can see that this angle and this angle both of these angles are alternate angle right so this means that if this is alpha so then this is also alpha angle right so then this means that this is also 33.43 right so this is alpha angle so now this means that f dash and f3 are making alpha angle with each other right so if this is the case right so this is alpha angle so now we need to find this fr and we know this alpha angle and we know the magnitude of this f dash and we know the magnitude of this f3 so we can use the cosines law right so fr square will be equal to we can apply the cosines law so that will be equal to 300 square plus 447.12 square minus 2 300 into 447.21 this is 21 right so 0.21 minus and the co multiply by cos of the included angle and the included angle is alpha right so this is 33.43 degrees and we can find this fr by taking the square root right so this will give us the fr magnitude 
and when we solve this so the fr magnitude comes out to be 257 newtons now to completely describe this resultant force we need to find the angle of this fr with the positive x axis again right so now let's say that uh, this is the angle of this fr with the positive x axis right so let's say that this much angle is beta right so now we can find this whole angle of this fr so let's say that this whole angle is beta dash right so beta dash will be equal to this 123 degree angle plus this beta right so we can write that beta dash will be 123.43 degrees plus beta right so once we know this beta angle we will be able to find the angle of this fr with the positive x axis so we can say that sine of beta divided by the magnitude of the opposite side so the opposite side is this f3 which is 300 will be equal to sine of alpha which is 33.43 divided by the fr magnitude so fr magnitude is 257 newtons so beta sine of beta will be equal to 300 we will multiply this 300 so this will be 300 sine of 33.43 divided by 257 and then we need to take the sine inverse so that will give us beta angle so beta comes out to be 40.02 degrees and now as we know that the angle of fr with the positive x axis is equal to this b dash so b dash is equal to 123.43 degrees plus beta which is 40.02 so this angle comes out to be 163.43 degrees right so the final resultant of these three forces these three given forces is 257 newtons and it is making 163.43 degrees with the positive x-axis so this is the solution of this particular problem